Hey everybody, welcome to Crack Pack Tuesday number 142 on the Manalik. I'm John as always, and we've got it. We're here. It's the final pack of Rivals of Ixalan for Crack Pack Tuesday. Next week we'll be doing Masters 25, and we'll be doing Masters 25 for the next uh, uh, four weeks after this week. I think it's four weeks. Uh, yeah, it's four weeks. And those are going to be sponsored by a viewer of Crack Pack Tuesday and the Manalik as a whole, which means they'll be getting all the cards that we open in those. Starting with Dominaria. All patrons, all patrons, everybody donating to the Patreon over $5 or more will be eligible to get the cards from each Crack Pack Tuesday. It'll be a random drawing. There'll be a little bit more. I'll announce that in a couple of weeks or so. But uh, if you do want to get into that, make sure that you are a patron before April 1st when uh, the patron charge happens and you can potentially get all the cards in this pack. But let's open this pack. Let's get rid of rivals forever. And see what we would take. Pack one, pick one. If this was a draft. Up first is a Roscoe Raptor. A Roscoe Raptor is two red red for a creature dinosaur. It's a 3-4. That's it. I don't like playing this card. Never ever first pick it. Moment of Triumph is up next. A single white mana for an instant. Target creature gets plus two plus two until end of turn. You gain two life. Solid combat trick. Really, really solid combat trick. Never first picking this. Ever. Sailor of Means, two and a blue for a creature human pirate. It's a 1-4. When it enters the battlefield, you get yourself a treasure. It can be first picked. I still, I'm not super sold on the LOL go all in on Sailor of Means play every color deck. I've seen pictures of it happening, but in the actual wild, I've never really pulled it off. I've never played against somebody pulling it off, so I don't think it's actually that common. But we can keep it in frame as a first pick. Up next is Naturalize. Naturalize is one in a green for an instant destroy target artifact or enchantment. Sideboard only, not a first pickable card. Moment of Craving. One in a black for an instant target creature gets minus two, minus two until end of turn. You gain two life. Removal kills uh, a, an okay number of things just flat out, plus gains you two life, plus it's instant speed. And in combat, kills a lot more. Definite first pick uh, material there for Moment of Craving. Continuing the combat trick kind of route, we've got Aggressive Urge, one and a green for an instant. Target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of turn. Draw a card. It's okay. It's not great. It's not giant growth. Drawing a card is cool, but it's just kind of middling. Certainly not a first pick. Martyr of Dusk is a card that I think I have first picked, but you're never super happy about it. One and a white for a creature vampire soldier. It's a 2-1. When it dies, you get a 1-1 white vampire creature token with lifelink. Creatures that make other creatures when they come in or when they go out are generally pretty darn good. When the creature that comes in after it goes out is a 1-1 lifelinker, that's pretty solid too, and a relevant creature type. Martyr of Dusk is fine. I'd, I, I would definitely consider first picking it. It doesn't compete with Moment of Craving, though, so I'm not going to bother keeping it in the frame. Sworn Guardian is up next. One and a blue for a creature Merfolk Warrior. One, three, and that's it. This is a garbage card. You generally should never play this ever. Flat out ever. And obviously not a first pick. Up next is Impale. Another very first pickable card. Two black black for a sorcery. Destroy target creature. That's real good. That's really, really good. It kills everything that Moment of Craving doesn't kill. Uh, yeah, Impale's just solid. It's a first pick card. We've known that since the start of the format, and uh, nothing's really changed since. So, stays in frame. Up next is Evolving Wilds. A land, tap it, go get yourself a basic land, put it on the battlefield, tapped. You know Evolving Wilds. You love Evolving Wilds. You don't first pick Evolving Wilds, generally. Some formats, you actually can maybe get away with it. This isn't one of them. On to the uncommons. We've got ourselves a Sky Marcher Aspirant, a single white mana for a creature vampire soldier. It's a two in with a send. As long as you have the city's blessing, it has flying. Fine. Totally fine. A relatively high pick. I would first pick this if the pack was weak. The pack is not weak, so it's not going to hang out in frame. Raging Regisaur, two red green for a 4 4 creature dinosaur. Whenever Raging Regisaur attacks, it deals one damage to our creature or player. Again, really good card. It's gold, which I don't really want to first pick unless it just flat out wins the game, and this doesn't just flat out win the game. So I don't think it would be a first pick material in most packs, and certainly not in this one. Our final on common is Shake the Foundations, two and a red for an instant. Shake the Foundations deals one damage to each creature without flying. Draw a card. It's okay. That's all I can say about it. It straddles the line between sideboard and main deck, and I still don't necessarily know which one it is, um, but it certainly isn't first pick. So we can have that discussion at a later date.
except probably not because I don't want to come back to this set. Our rare is Form of the Dinosaur. Four red red for an enchantment. When Form of the Dinosaur enters the battlefield, your life total becomes 15. At the beginning of your upkeep, Form of the Dinosaur deals 15 damage to target creature and opponent controls, and that creature deals damage equal to its power to you. Uh, yeah, Form of the Dinosaur is interesting. I wanted this card to be good. I tried this card, and it failed miserably for me. I have seen it fail miserably for a ton of people. I've seen it succeed for a bunch of people, but I think I've seen it fail more often than not. So I am out completely on Form of the Dinosaur, especially against Impale, which I think is just going to be the easy win here in this pack. Um, yeah, I could see the argument that you could pass both black cards and take the Sailor of Means, but I think that's just way way too cute take the best card in the pack take the card that's amazing take the card that you're very excited to have uh and be fine with it so yeah i'm on impale let me know what you'd have taken in the comments down below as always if you have any questions comments or suggestions you can find me on twitter at the man Leak. that's l-e-e-k like the vegetable not the card you can find me at facebook.com slash man twitch.tv slash the man and patreon.com slash the man where if you become a patron in the month of or, or before the month of april starting with dominaria you may be the lucky person each week who gets all the cards in the pack or the rare if you don't want the rest of the cards we'll work it out when you win um there will be an official announcement about that coming out in a couple of weeks about the actual way it's going to work restrictions stuff like that um but uh yeah i want to make sure that my patrons are getting value for their donations and this is going to be part of the value if you like the content click that thumbs up button click subscribe if you want to see more and if you have questions comments or suggestions let me know otherwise see you all next time